What is up, you guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Desk Render. And well, today we're going against a passer by name Hayuga. And there's a reason I uploaded this battle because we got a freaking Mega Rayquaza here. Yes, Mega Rayquaza. And of course, we got you know Kyogre. We got Deoxys here, and um, we still have Mewtwo too. Oh, that, that is just splendid, isn't it? And of course, uh, the giveaway. Um, Metagross and his probably in-game Sceptile. So with all that in mind guys, I feel getting that right off the bat. It is obviously not the most serious of battles, but look at the books I'm using. We got the same to the previous here with both Bronzong with Heatproof, Steelix, Mega Pidgeot, Drogology, Physical, Choice Bandit, Freaking, Rodent, Dragon Age, Dragon Slayer, I was gonna say, <laughs> ZNA, and uh, Salt West uh, Malamar. Uh, and right off the bat here, I mean, I had two choices. Either this was a very, very good player, or this was just an in-game team. I was lucky, it was an in-game team. I was actually going against this guy while I was breeding. I wanted a battle top load, uh, and um, I'll say it was definitely an interesting one, and it's the reason I'm going to showcase it, even though it's just a passerby and not a p person that I can relate to, or uh, feature by any means necessary, sadly. Uh, so anyway, I will start with Bronsong. I need to get the rocks up, because May request up. And other than that, I don't care what you start with, I just wanna live. So anyway, let's do it. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit stressed during the get-go. He's gonna start out well with the Deoxys and uh, I mean <laughs> I can't do anything here. I know I can wall out rather nicely at best. He go for a psycho boost, showing me that he has no idea what type of typing bronzing is, you know, four times resist that. Yeah, that that is not gonna work. As uh, so I go for Stealth Rocks, and after this, I'll actually just go for an Iron Head because I don't expect him to go for a physical move here, and to go right away for another Psycho Boost. And now it's just getting, you know, I get you know, more HP back than he's actually doing. So, <laughs> so obviously this Iron Head juice a bit too much, and I saw this like golden opportunity to uh, get into my Pidgeot, of course, because well, he is a freaking Pidgeot now, isn't it? That we need to use Pidgeot. Is the mega form after all? He's gonna go straight off the bat for an hyper beam, and uh, no, I don't think so. So anyway, I'm just gonna mega ball, going for the ominous wind. And the reason I have ominous wind is because I do want the boost. I have a 10% chance, like Asian power, to get an overall boost, which could be incredible for Pidgeot, consider it's lacking in Moo Pool, and I mean lacking with a big L. <laughs> Though sad, I don't get it. And here is Rayquaza, and I was like, oh no. Now I'm really going down. There is no way in hell I can deal with this. Even though he probably is unvested, it is still a major threat. So I was praying to higher gods, Pidgeot, just do your thing, just hurt it hurt as much as you can. And I go for that hurricane, and even though I don't have any attack boosts after the ominous wind, I will score a crit here and destroy him. So yeah, the Jesus bird do the things it should do and deal with the <laughs> <laughs> the legendaries of legendaries, the one that created the death, anything ghost here. So, Monipune is not the only one who killed a Mega Rayquaza with a Pidgeot. I'm second to it. So, anyway, of course, this thing is here, and um, I really didn't want to take an ice with this guy, and uh, I just got into the Ragology. I just thought I might get the chance to get some Toxic Spikes up. So, we go for the Origin Pulse, which obviously, even though it is water boosted, still does me. Nada. I mean, that is not a lot actually. So let's go for the Ice Beam here, and that is roughly 50%-ish. So I know I can take another one if uh, I go for Protect here next turn. So yes, I'm being extremely stally, but at the same time I really felt that, you know, I might as well get some badly poisoned here so I can actually finish the game a little bit easier, um, because he still has Mewtwo and Mega, Mega Metagross, which obviously isn't affected by poison. But sadly, after my... <laughs> <laughs> After my setup here, he scores a freeze on me, as so I was like, really? Really? We're doing this? Alright. I'm okay with this. I'm gonna switch back into my bronze song here, because I just want to get this thing toxic. I really had no reason not to. And it goes for a waterfall, 
And uh, since I'm in special defensive, this waterfall does actually quite nicely. I mean, it does a lot of damage and... Uh, damn! Of course, did not see that one coming. He goes for an Ice Beam there, so I'm like, dude! You're still not getting it! I'm a freaking Steel type, alright? But anyway, go for a Toxic, and uh, after this, I'm pretty much just going to sag off my Dragology for the very reason of... <clears throat> can't really do anything, obviously. And, um, yeah. That was definitely my only like idea. I just want to set in dead and a here and hope that he, uh, in one fashion or another, am able to uh, ta take out in Kyogre. Uh, and you know this battle obviously is not. Um, it, it is very very unserious <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> so anyway, Actros, the choice bandit, Dedenay, the dragon killer, the defeater of legendaries is here and go for that wild charge. Boom! It is freaking enough to kill a Kyogre. I never seen anything like it. I mean, first he kills off the guard jump, and now he's back again, killing the legendaries like they were nothing. Actros, my god, are you awesome. So here's some Mewtwo, and I really didn't feel like switching out. I was just like, alright, um, probably, you know, getting a psychic here, and I will be okay with that. But he goes for an Aura Swear, which, first of all, is resisted. Uh, it still does a fair damage, I guess, but the wild charge will not prove to be enough, so I was thinking, alright, he must go for a psychic this time, and uh, I have no chance, of course, of believing that, so I'm just gonna switch out to my Malamar, because, well, why not? I was so sure I was gonna resist that, but no, he goes for an energy ball, and I was like, dude, no, you did not just do that. So, anyway, I'm just gonna go for a superpower, he's going for an aura sphere here, and they're like, I'm still like, you need to do something better. <laughs> that is not gonna cut it. So even though I actually don't kill it with the superpower, the toxic will be more than enough. I told you the toxic spike would work. I told you. <laughs> I knew the situation would come. So anyway, here is the Zeptile, and uh, I was actually, you know, I was betting on the Mega Vol thing, but he's actually just going right on at it, go for Leaf Blade, and. Um, yeah, that, that is not gonna cut it, though it could score a crit, would have done a lot more damage, but I'd score a crit instead, yeah, some fair there, isn't it? <laughs> and take out that Sceptile, and now we're going to what I will call the most hysterical moment ever, and I can't stress it enough. He's gonna go for a Sin Headbutt, which obviously isn't gonna affect me, and I will go for a knockoff, scoring first off a crit, but that's not the fun part. I knock off a freaking Hyper Potion. I'm not kidding, he is carrying an Hyper Potion, I was like, oh, really? <laughs> How is that gonna help you out? But yeah, <laughs> obviously, like I said, it's not the most serious battle, and I had a lot of fun, of course, with it, and I, I killed a Mega Rayquaza, how cool is that? So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this battle, of course, and really, you know, I like this kind of passerby, it's not because... Uh, my team is working, you know, at its peak because of my opponent's unawareness of the team build-up, obviously. But this is actually where you know, when you go against players that are new to Pokémon and you know they're using the strongest of strongest pokes. I really believe, at least from my own mindset, that this is the way to get into the meta game, using the strongest pokes. You get comfortable in predicting and stuff like that. I mean, these players obviously is not going to get that from um, using the lowest of lowest tier because of there are good enough players that could cope with that, and there are stronger players using stronger Pokemons who could decimate them in seconds. So I think this is a good way to get into it, I really do. I always had a lot of fun here because of the DNA obviously working, uh, Pidgeot killing the Mega Rayquaza, I mean that that is just, it is a legendary status on that. And um, yeah, just basically Malamar yet again just coming in, finish off the game. I don't know why this with Assault West Malamar, but it's just so good. I know we got U-turn issue, but who the hell cares? It is packing a punch. So anyway, guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. And with that in mind, guys, remember, the sky is the limit. So have a good day, and take care, alright? Bye.